guys! I hope y'all are doing well today. It's been a little bit since I have been able to visit with y'all because I have been really, really busy working on several projects, one of which I'm about to divulge to you, which I'm so excited about. Recently, I did an amazing photo shoot with Pinky Promise Photography. They are a Houston-based photography company that is absolutely amazing. It was a pinup shoot, and seriously, this was like a dream come true for me. Um, I've worked with them before. They're actually great friends of mine. I do makeup for them for their photo shoots, you know, regularly. But honestly, this was the most fun, magical, fabulous photo shoot I've ever done in my life. There was this top secret cafe location, which you can only know so much about. You'll be able to see that later in the video. And it was just phenomenal. Like the location was amazing. Like the lighting was perfect. Everything came together. I got to pose with a 1955 Porsche, the same model of car that James Dean died in, as well as a um, 1950s Chevy truck. And seriously, like, I mean, I just, I'm dead. Like, I'm dying and living at the same time every time I see these photos. My friend and fellow makeup artist Megan was also in the shoot with me, and it was just magical times. Many, many magical times. So the best news that I have to give you during this video is the fact that if you guys want to get in on a photo shoot just like the one that I'm about to show you, then you have that opportunity. And I'm just letting you know, do not touch that dial, do not hesitate about it do it because these spots are going to sell really, really fast. I cannot thank Pinky Promise Photography enough for allowing me to have this opportunity and I really hope you guys check them out. I will give you all of their information at the end of the video and what you need to do in order to book your spot for the shoot because like I said, don't hesitate, don't wait, do it now. So I hope you guys stay tuned uh, for the rest of the video. I'm going to go through my makeup application, my hairstyle, um, clothing and inspiration, and some behind the scenes shots of the actual shoot. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that red button right down below. I know you want to. You know, I really appreciate y'all being here with me. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. So for this particular hairstyle, the bangs are so important. Um, what my sister is doing is taking a fine tooth comb and pulling it through the bangs as she takes that tiny straightener. Um, and what she's doing is pushing them up and spraying them after every layer. The bangs are by far the most important aspect to this look, so just keep on teasing them to the gods. Next, she is just brushing out my hair and pulling it back to prepare it for the curls. She's pulling it up in sections to make it easier so everything's not all over the place. And now she's taking a large barrel uh, curling iron and just simply curling every piece and making sure that they are soft but still have a really great hold. And she's just continuing to curl, curl, curl as I eat the breakfast of champions. Don't all models eat chocolate, chocolate chip muffins before their photo shoots? I know I do. Now she's just pulling her fingers through the hairs just to soften them up a bit. And she is taking the hairspray and just spraying. And I'm being crazy and singing right now. Did you really think we'd get through this video without that happening? I didn't think so. She's brushing it all back and preparing to pull it up to finish up the hairstyle. And she's just pulling everything together and taking bobby pins, twisting it, and just pushing it into the bottom so it'll stay up on top of my head. She's continuing to just sort of ruffle around the curls just to make sure that they are placed properly, putting in more bobby pins and spraying my head and face continuously. Now it's time for the bandana, and I'm not going to lie, I cannot tell you how she folded that. It was magic. I looked over and it was done. So she's just putting it around my head, and there you go. She is also uh, pinning it behind my ears so that it does not fall down because that it would just be annoying. 
and she's just perfecting the top piece um, just continuously kind of pulling them through to make sure that you can see each and every little curl um, but that everything is just really molded nicely together and she's just continuing to spray 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 and now she's just fixing the bangs like I said those are the most important part of the entire hairstyle and you'll never guess what happened next, or maybe you will. Yep, she sprayed me in the face. I don't even think she said sorry. I'm pretty sure she just laughed at me. But here you go. This is the finished product. She did an absolutely amazing job, and I could not have asked for a better hairstylist. Now for my favorite part, makeup time. So this is kind of a quick run through of my makeup. Um, didn't have a lot of time on the camera left over. So I'm just filling in my brows very heavily. Pinup girls always had very, very defined brows. So I'm just taking my eyeshadow with my angled brush and just brushing it heavily throughout the hairs. I applied a wax base first so that they would stick down a lot better. Now to get an even more structured look, I am taking my concealer and carving out the bottom part of my brow. I just really want that nice clean definition. Now with the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I'm going in with a fluffy brush and just defining my crease with a matte shade. I'm using all matte shadows for this look. Now with a flat shader brush, I'm just applying a matte light shade under the brow and packing it right onto the lid. I'll list all product information in the description box. Now I'm priming my face because I know I have a long day and adding concealer under my eyes just to brighten everything up. Now for my foundation, I want a flawless finish so I'm just buffing to my skin and then just a little bit of powder to set everything. Next is blush and then I also smudged out my eyeliner. I'm sorry that I missed a couple of steps but like I said, I'll list everything below and there is the finished product. Now on to clothing. This is my very first outfit. It was one of my faves. And this is the outfit I wore with the green Chevy truck. It's a pair of high-waisted shorts that I got from Forever 21. That top is actually a bathing suit tube top that I got from Victoria's Secret a while ago. And the suspenders are my father's. I dug those out of his drawer. I was so glad I was able to use those. And the magnificent shoes, I loved these shoes. They were from a brand called Pinup Couture. I ordered them online and they were just so cute. I love them so much, I can't wait to wear them again. As for jewelry, I just wore a simple double layered pearl necklace, some little pearl stud earrings, and then a little bunch of pearl bracelets. And these little guys right here really saved the day. These are like those little paper cup thingies that you put on your breast and they really held them up. It was fantastic. So that was my first outfit. And here is a photo of me in the outfit. And now on to outfit number two. So this is the outfit that I wore, one of them in the cafe with the cake. I was obsessed with this set. Um, I really was just obsessed with everything, honestly. Um, I wore an apron. Even though it looks like a dress, it's actually an apron. Um, it's handmade and I bought it off of Etsy. These white shoes that were actually very comfortable and have a glitter bottom were from Payless. I was really impressed with that. And again, I just did very simple jewelry. I wore the stud earrings again, the bracelets, and those little lingerie solutions worked really well for me yet again. Now underneath um, to give it some volume I wore a little tutu um, so I didn't have to buy like an actual petticoat so that worked out really really well that gave it lots of volume and made it look a lot cuter and more girly. And if I had to choose just one, by far, this is my favorite shot of the entire shoot. I have dreamt of this exact pose, this cake, this background for I don't even know how many years. So literally, this picture is like a dream come true, and I am obsessed, to say the least. And for the third and final outfit, I wore a high-waisted um, black pencil skirt with a small like bralette sort of camisole top that I got from Forever 21. The skirt was from Macy's. I wore, um, again, just the simple bracelets. I wore a gold and pearl necklace, a black rose ring. All the jewelry, by the way, is from Forever 21. And those sunglasses were from there as well. And the flower and the bandana from the first outfit were both from Hobby Lobby. And here's me in outfit number three in the kitchen. I love to wear clothing like this when I cook. Not really, I don't cook. And now for some behind the scenes footage.
So here we are at the location with the 1950s Chevy truck. We were so lucky to find um, a man named Terry that allowed us to borrow it for the shoot. It was absolutely gorgeous and perfect condition and the pictures just turned out amazing. And of course I had a great time as you can tell I'm being real crazy as usual. And here is a shot that I got with the truck. I love this photo so much. And here's some footage of the details of the cafe. Seriously, it is so authentic, like down to every little detail. And I mean, it was just an amazing location. I felt so lucky to be there and I wish my kitchen looked like that. So despite that Mustang in the background, when I watch this footage, like it looks legit. Like I feel like I'm watching a movie of myself from the 1950s, which is amazing. I mean, everything was just so awesome. And here is a picture from that set. I love this picture, but I love all of the pictures. And here's just a little bit of footage of me and Megan in the Porsche. And this photo right here, seriously, like, I just can't. I cannot. I'm dying. I'm living. I'm all of the things. This picture gets me feeling some type of way. I can't explain it. Like, this is it. Like, what? All right, guys. So that pretty much sums up my photo shoot. I honestly could never get the magic that happened that day on to this video, but take it from me. It was an opportunity of a lifetime. And if you guys want to have a shoot like this, um, Pinky Pomace Photography are offering what they call mini shoots. And this is um, going to be on two different days, one in July, one in August. And you will get your hair and your makeup professionally done in a pinup inspired style. You get to take photos in the cafe as well as with a classic car and 15 professionally edited images. And guys, it's only $4.75, which is an amazing deal. Now this shoot is first come first serve and has already been selling spots rapidly. So get your butt off of YouTube and email them. I will list all of their contact information below in the description box. If you plan on doing the shoot and need any help with inspiration, I have tons of websites uh, to give you guys and to help you sort of piece things together. Let me know below in the comment box and I will be happy to help you out. And I'd like to go ahead and thank everyone that was a part of this shoot, Christina and Crystal from Pinky Promise Photography, my sister Danielle and Barbara for doing me and Megan's hair. And Megan, of course, for being the perfect co-model and everyone having to do with getting us the cars and the location. Can't thank you guys enough. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, you can check me out on Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest. I'm on Google Plus now. And, oh, and I'm doing Twitter, too. So go ahead and check me out anywhere. Like I said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I will see you later. Bye. Love you.